everybody, welcome back to another episode of MBOM. My name is Nikki Check, and I'm here with Sophia, our social media content strategist. So my favorite social media platform, I feel like you could probably guess this, is Instagram. I would um, guess that. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's so fun. You know, you could you could find whatever you want on there. Um, it's very visual, which I like. I like the videos, the short form concept. Yeah, I don't know. It's just great. There's so many fun features. My favorite social media platform is uh, Real Life Humans. <laughs> so, <laughs> although I can navigate around Instagram, okay, my favorite social media platform, as as many uh, know that know me, is LinkedIn because it is the place that business hangs out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so that one's my favorite. Well, I don't know about thought leaders. I, I think I mostly use social media just for, like for fun stuff. Um, I follow I follow a lot of like artists just to keep up with their work. I follow some like fashion designers. Um, some meme pages for jokes. <laughs> um, I do follow like a couple news pages too, just to keep up with local events and um, I mean, not local events too. Sometimes crazy stuff happens in the world and you don't hear about it immediately. So it's nice to get that information wherever you can. For me, I think uh, it, it's indicative of the, the segment of life you're in. So if you're uh, wanting to paint with a toddler, why it's Pinterest and you go search <laughs> Uh, Montessori something or other and you get really good stuff so it's again if if it's under the the business context I'm I'm typically following people that are uh, leaders in agency and how they they run and operate their businesses if it's you know personal life and catching up with friends <laughs> we still hang out on Facebook <laughs> and so you know, yeah. I'll go there to yeah. see what a little social group is doing there. Uh, most of my ads are um, food programs, like meal preps. Um, I do see a lot of ads for restaurants and local businesses that are popping up as well. Two-part answer to that. I will typically see companies that I that I buy at. So Wayfair, Monet, mm -hmm. if you're in traveling mode. But the the other part that I find uh, funny is if I'm working with a business or a prospect and doing research in their sector. So if I'm working with cannabis and I'm looking up everything under the sun cannabis, man, do I get a lot of <laughs> cannabis ads. Yeah. So it's, it just, it, because it's based off your search history, you know that. So yeah. it just depends on what you're looking for is what's going to pop up. safely say I've never purchased a product and that's been advertised to me on social media. Yeah, I feel like being on the other side of that, I like understand the process that goes into it and I almost like don't want to fall for it. Like I know what they're trying to do and I'm like, mm, I'm just going to make my own decisions. Even though in reality, all of those decisions that I make on my own are still kind of influenced by advertising, just a little bit less directly. Okay, so. <laughs> This ad comes in an Instagram and it's a video, so of course I watch the video. <laughs> and, and it's... I'm so embarrassed, I might even turn red. So, of course he's in a lab coat, because he is like certified true. <laughs> and, and it's... Um, it's... Uh, <laughs> Did you know you could fix your eyesight by just taking just this one pill a day and you can get rid of glasses so I might still have them in my drawer it didn't work I know you're surprised Shark. but I really wanted to get rid of my glasses 